Hey, what up? It's your boy. Family matters are important because family matters. Damn, I started off with a bar right there. But regardless, if you guys have a family, you have a healthy relationship with your family, then everybody knows how important that is to so many people. But of course, not every family is perfect. You run into some problems, sometimes in your control, sometimes out of your control. But it is a completely different story when you are a YouTuber in Japan who runs a family vlog channel and after a weird set of circumstances you are arrested for defamation laws posed from your very own family member. That's exactly what happened with this YouTube channel in Japan with over 200,000 subscribers by the name of Kedebu no Ie, that's sorry, I almost fucking mispronounced that, Kedebu no Ie, which is headed by this guy called Karebu, this guy in the photo right here, 21 years old, in university right now, who is the main driver of this Kedebu no Ie family vlog channel, where you show off all sorts of different aspects of your family, most specifically uh, his younger uh, sister and brother, as well as, you know, sometimes his parents and stuff like that, doing all sorts of different things that family vlog channels do. However, in June of this year, a rather interesting video appeared on this Keirebu no Ie channel of just Karebu, the main guy, uh, in front of a camera talking about the fact that he has been basically ostracized from his entire family. And not only was he ostracized from his entire family, but he is stating that some people connected to his family members or even some of the family members themselves were planning on trying to murder him because of how much he hates him. He actually went out on this video explaining that there was some kind of assassination attempt that was cooking in the background and he suspects that it might be as a result of him and his family cutting ties or more specifically his family cutting ties with him. Now the reason why, uh, and there are a lot of like reasons as to why this separation between this main guy and his family members uh, basically got severed and the fate of the family vlog channel was basically lost and thrown into the shadow realm in permanently was the fact that, uh, you know, it kind of started off as just, you know, the close family, the younger brother and younger sister, the mom, the dad, you know, and the, the main guy, you know, just the, all the family members. But then Karebu, this, the main runner of this channel, then invited his then girlfriend to join in and star in these family vlog channels. And mysteriously, since this girlfriend joined this family vlog channel, the sight of the younger sister, especially the younger sister, who was in almost every single one of the Keirebu no Ie videos, just kind of disappeared overnight. And so there is suspicion from the general public who is aware of this story that there might have been some family issues with this new girlfriend coming into this very close-knit family vlog channel, which, you know, is kind of understandable, really. I mean, you know, girlfriend is technically not quite family yet, you know, although you might treat them like family, technically not quite family, and you know, with the whole like sibling jealousy and all of that kind of stuff, it's it's understandable that, you know, maybe the younger sister was not very cool with this new girlfriend, especially being part of this very close-knit family vlog channel. But uh, there's a big difference between, you know, sibling jealousy and the point where the older sibling thinks that the family is out to assassinate him on November the 9th, the uh, main personality of this Keirebu no Ie channel, this Karebu guy right here, actually just got arrested for defamation. Because if you guys didn't know, uh, Japan treats the defamation law very, very seriously. And this is a big reason, and in my opinion, a big problem that Japan has is that they treat defamation very, very seriously. Obviously, defamation is a, a law that could, can be broken in other countries as well, but Japan really takes the idea of defamation to a whole other level, to the point where I personally think it's being a little bit oversensitive. But uh, uh, according to the Criminal Code of Japan right here, this is what the defamation law is. A person who defames another by alleging facts in public shall, regardless of whether such facts are true or false, be punished by imprisonment with or without work for not more than three years or a fine of not more than 500,000 yen, which means that the most that this guy will get is three years in jail and a 500,000 yen uh, fine, which is about 
in today's economy, like 3,000 US dollars, I think. The yen is really fucked up right now, so it doesn't sound as bad as it should be. And so what is the general public's reception to this entire story? Like, are they being sympathetic for the main guy? Are they being sympathetic towards the family? Well, uh, for the most part, the sympathy is going towards the family members that have been defamed. You know, comments such as, oh wow, he finally got arrested for this, and uh, you know, he will forever regret from the bottom of his heart that he attacked his own family. And uh, obviously, the, the Karibu guy, the main guy who got arrested, is denying all allegations. He's saying, no, this was not defamation, this was facts, this is something that I truly felt. If I didn't feel that I was, you know, in danger of my own life from my own family members or people close to the proxy of my family members, then I wouldn't have made that channel in the first place because, as he suggests, the entire reason why he started the YouTube channel is so that he could not only, you know, overlook the, the, the growth, the mental and physical growth of, you know, his beloved younger sister and share it with the world, but also to just, in the benefit of the family, make some money for the good of the family. But, uh, apparently, he, a lot of his family thought that he was actually just, uh, using uh, you know, his younger siblings as a ploy to make money for himself. And I feel that this is a very, very gray reason uh, or, or, or a reason that a lot of people look at family channels in this very gray zone. Because there have been a lot of uh, examples in the past of f big family vlog channels, especially out in the West. You know, look at channels like The Ace Family or uh, Daddy05, if anyone fucking remembers the shit that happened with that. It was an absolute shit show. You know, people look at uh, family vlog channels it, with those examples in mind and just automatically assume, aha, family vlog channels are all fucking scummy. They're all just using their children and their family as bait to make a bunch of money because, you know, people like seeing this kind of content of just watching ordinary mundane families living their day-to-day -day life and having this very weird parasocial proximity towards a family that they know nothing about on the grand scheme of things and will probably never know anything about in a real sense. And look, personally speaking, I think that's a little unfair um, because I have kind of looked around on YouTube uh, and I have seen a lot of, of course, really bad examples of family vlog channels, which are the ones that usually get the most uh, media attention or the most public attention uh, because, you know, bad press is always going to be the most upfront press. That's just how humanity works. But there have also been a bunch of really just innocent family vlog channels out there as well. Granted, they might not be as big or talked about as much as, you know, some of the bigger ones that I mentioned earlier, but you can tell just from the way that the filming is done, you can tell from the way that the channel is operated that there are some family vlog channels out there that purely just want to film their day-to-day -day lives, that film their children, film their pets, film their family activities because they want to and they're not looking to do it to get any kind of like bombastic fame or you know try to clickbait the shit out of the audience to get as many views as possible so that they can feed their five fucking children that they're using in their videos no there are some family vlog channels that are out there just because they want to archive these fun and you know exciting memories for themselves and they also want to share a little bit of that side of their life with their youtube audience as well and personally speaking i don't think there's anything wrong with that but i do understand why family vlog channels can be put in a very gray zone because of examples like this one we're talking about in this video. You know, I always think about the hypothetical of like, if I were to have kids in the future and I was still doing YouTube, would I want to make a family vlog channel? And, you know, obviously right now, I'm not really thinking about that ser all that seriously, considering I don't plan to have kids anytime soon. But, you know, I, it is uh, always a fun kind of, I guess, like thought experiment to think about, uh, you know, if I'm still doing content creation, would I want to do a family vlog channel? And, you know, there is a part of me that does want to and there's a part of me that doesn't want to and i think when it comes to family vlog channels it is very very so extremely important especially in this day and age on the attitude you go into making a family vlog channel because there are correct ways to do it and there are absolutely incorrect ways to do it as well that will get you ostracized from every fucking pta meeting 
on the planet. But uh, when it comes to this uh, Kerebu no Ie channel, uh, it, it's going to be interesting to see. This is kind of a developing story because we don't know. There's no trial happening. He only just got arrested for alleged defamation. Obviously, some people are definitely on his side, but some people are most definitely not on his side and are sticking with the family. And uh, I think the, again, the entire reason why I wanted to cover this story is because it is one of the few examples that I have seen of yet again another family vlog channel that has turned south very very quickly for all sorts of reasons see not even japan is safe from the curse of the family vlog channel here on youtube so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions about this story down in the comments below obviously there are a lot of details missing because uh you know this is a Japan, you know, Japanese based channel. So if you don't understand Japanese, it's kind of hard to glean any information from the, the archive of videos on this channel to kind of get a proper background of what is actually going on. But from what I have seen so far and the, and the research that I've done into watching a couple of the videos, uh, it seems like the fault might lie in the main driver of the channel, this, this, this Karebu guy. He definitely does seem to be at least from my personal view and expertise on watching a lot of YouTube in my life, it definitely does seem like he is kind of in it for slightly malicious intent, slight, you know, uh, leechy intent of just using family members to make some money and, you know, grab the, the cash and the clout and all that kind of stuff. So I am kind of siding on the uh, family side of things, uh, but it's, you know, innocent until proven guilty in my mind. So we'll see how it goes. But either way, let me know your your thoughts in the comments below and let me know your just like general thoughts about family vlog channels on youtube what are your like what's the general consensus for you are they a good thing are they a bad thing are they a gray zone thing i'd love to know your thoughts and opinions let me know down in the comments below hey thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to smack my face right here subscribe to the channel let's keep making big channel number go bigger over here next to my head there's a couple more videos you can check out if you enjoyed this one links to my social media as well as my patreon and hey grab some nonsense we have a big drop coming in december you are going to love it it, so grab it while you can links in the description and i will see you all in the next one peace